you want me to go, I'm going to go first today. That's Please. all right. Um, just uh, uh, talking about our team and where we're at, and uh, you know, I, I think we've uh, uh, we've done some things uh, throughout the season, uh, especially in the last two weeks, uh, that usually indicate that you know you, you should win the game. Uh, I think two weeks ago, you know, having the amount of time of possession we had uh, and the way we played defensively, uh, having five three outs, three and outs in a row. I mean, usually those things win games. Uh, I think we did some things on Saturday, you know, rushing the ball for 325 yards. And, uh, I think we only gave up 12 yards uh, in the first half rushing. Uh, if you look at it statistically right now, we're number one in the conference in total defense and scoring defense. So there's markers there uh, of a winning team uh, or things that, you know, get you uh, to win games. Uh, obviously, we've also done some things to lose games. I think the turnovers uh, the last two weeks uh, have been really critical for us, um, and, uh, and we got to finish halves. Um, so the challenge for our team uh, this week is to look forward. Uh, that's why I got the flashlight here. All right, we are looking forward in the direction that we are going. We are not looking back. Uh, you know, from a biblical perspective, you know, uh, the old Sodom and Gomorrah reference. Uh, I'll keep it PG here. This will be on the news. But uh, Lot's wife looked back, and she turned into a pillar of salt. So, so all eyes forward on Lindenwood and what we're trying to do, how we can get our team better, uh, and excited uh, about what we can still become. Uh, and uh, I know what our record is, but I've asked our guys just to, hey, just, you know, we talk about being one to know every week anyway. Hey, we, we're putting the record on the back burner, and uh, we're all about these Lindenwood Lions. Uh, they've got a really good football team, got an excellent receiver. Uh, Jeff Caldwell is averaging 21 yards a catch. Uh, I think he has, uh, Mossed everyone he's played, uh, and uh, obviously he's a tremendous talent uh, amongst a, a, a really good football team. Uh, deep defensively, uh, play a lot of guys in the front seven, uh, and so. Uh, and if you just look at the uh, association, the Big South OBC Association right now, almost every game is a one-score game. Uh, I have not seen. I can't think of anybody off the top of my head that's just been blown out. Uh, and so uh, we're ready for another tight one and uh, um, you know, looking forward to making the trip uh, to St. Louis. So when you guys reach those indicators that show that you should be winning a ball game and you don't, does that say to you that something needs to change or is it more just we need to finish what we're doing to, to win these games? I mean, I think it's a little bit of both. I think, you know, we got to eliminate turnovers. That needs to change. Um, but I think you also, you know, you got to look at, hey, what we're doing well um, and get confidence from that. And, hey, how can we do that even better? So, um, you know, the, the, uh, what I, I guess I'm trying to say is we're, there's kind of a, a good test, I think, going on. And I think any time in your life when you're being tested, you've got to look back in your life where, hey, either God's been faithful uh, or, hey, I've been able to overcome things. And I'm going to rely on those things and so and take confidence from those uh, to move forward. Uh, so uh, to answer your question, it's a little bit of both. One of the things that I think you mentioned kind of consistency. How do you build or kind of create more consistency? Well, I think you got to do some things, you know, simulate, you know, some things in practice to, um, you know, hey, talk about finishing a half, right? Well, hey, this, you know, we, let's, let's, let's create an in-the-half situation. Uh, you know, end of game situation. We, we do end of game all the time, uh, every single week. Uh, end of half. Okay, then we can we can work that in, and and, uh, um, and you know just put our guys in those situational moments so that they know what to do. So they've been there before. You know, it's like anything. Uh, you know, we're about reducing stress, right? So if I've been, you know, uh, in, you know, in these stressful situations before, I think you just breathe a little bit easier. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like LeBron James, right? The first game-winning shot he took as a rookie is probably a little more nervous than, you know, whatever, five years into it or three years into it or 20 years into it now. You know what I'm saying? I don't think any of our guys have been playing college football for 20 years, but, you know, two, three years into something, we can, we can breathe and uh, have a little more confidence. We talked about the turnovers in the first quarter on Saturday. Are you looking for the quarterback spot to be maybe a little bit more cautious and just lean more on the running game, or do you just – want him to do what he does and, and fling it when he has to? No, I, I think, you know, I think one was a, um, the first one was just, you know, a, a poor read. Uh, so we've, we've got to just, you know, do what we've, do 
we, we usually do. He's, it's a play we've run many times this season. I've seen Rob complete over and over again. Uh, uh, and then the second one, I think they made a play. Uh, and uh, so uh, you're, you're a gunfighter. In a gunfight, you're going to get shot. Uh, I just don't want it to be fatal. Um, but, you know, having it, what I was extremely proud of our team, one of these other markers is we're down 14 points in the first quarter. Uh, an immature team would have probably just packed it in at that moment, and we erased that lead, I think, in 11 minutes. I think we're, you know, an extra point away with four minutes left in the first half from being tied. So uh, we bounced back. You know, we, 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 uh, we closed the ranks, I guess, so to speak. Uh, so I was really proud of our guys for doing that. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes, yeah, you, if you got to lean on the run game a little bit to settle everybody down, then, then that's what we'll do. It certainly was, was fruitful for us on Saturday. Sticking in the backfield, obviously, I'll tell you this broke the school record that Tyson found in the Bills freshman of the week. What have you seen out of, out of those two guys? Uh, I just think they continually are, are getting better. And I, I've probably seen more, I think, from our offensive line kind of coming together and gelling uh, and, uh, and just being us just better up front. Uh, and so those guys run extremely hard. I, you know, I think they, they almost run like they're in pain. And so uh, those are the type of packs we like. Um, and, yeah, you, know, you get the confidence going on those guys. And, uh, they're fun to block for. Uh, so. Just for some, um, I don't know, background, I don't think the word, but is Lennonwood the furthest that you all would have to travel to conference? I, I, Eastern Illinois is a, is a touch further. Uh, you know, going to Charleston, Illinois, uh, a little bit further than St. Louis, a little more north. You know, I think that's uh, probably about the same uh, you know, latitude or whatever it is, but uh, uh, the, the uh, you know, it's uh, um, glad to glad to be a frequent flyer on Breeze Airways right now, uh, and uh, those trips actually have been uh, hopefully and continue to be super smooth. So um, it's part of the nature of, of this association. You talk about the guys just you know looking forward and, and keeping their their focus on what's ahead of them. How do you? make sure they do that during the course of a week? You know, do you see during practice at all they, they get down or, or anything like that? If so, what do you have to say? No, I think it's just the narrative that we create as a staff. Um, I think, uh, you know, we've talked at length about it yesterday. Uh, you know, we're gonna talk about it throughout practice. You know, we have a thought for the day and a quote. And, uh, you know, just having those things fresh on their mind um, so that, hey, we are, you know, we, we, you don't want to be paralyzed by, you know, something in the past, you know what I'm saying? And so. Uh, you can you can view those things one of two ways. You can be paralyzed by it, or you can be productive after it. And, and so we're choosing a uh, positive path, and that's really what, as young men, we want our guys to be. Any you know, they're, we're going to stumble and fall in life. I hope we always fall forward. Uh, I would say we always fall into the to the arms of a loving God, but uh, also from just a character standpoint, uh, you know, these guys are maybe 35 years old and. You know, make a financial mistake, and uh, man, I, I hope they point back at this time in their life. Hey, you know, we're going into Lindenwood. Coach kept saying, hey, "Keep your eyes forward. You know, turn your flashlight on. You know, you're in a dark room. Turn it on. Look ahead." So that's what we're going to do. My eyes stop short of saying fine, but does Rob look fine as far as dealing with what his ankle on Saturday? Any kind of uh, no, no lingering that? effects. You know, what I'm saying and he, he, he's good to go. He's he's healthy, uh, and. Uh, Excited to see uh, you know, how he plays this week. Coach, appreciate it. Hey, thank you guys for being here. Thank I really you, you know, can't say that enough every week. So.